Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, I completely forgot that I got this, but we're gonna be viewing the well overdue ColourPop uh, Valentine's Day collection. I did purchase the entire collection for, I think it was like 70 bucks, and it's finally here. So you guys wanna see what I got in here, what my thoughts are on all of this, well then definitely keep on watching. All right guys, so before I dive into today's video, I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below. So just in case you guys wanna go ahead and jump straight into the review, you don't have to listen to me ramble on for a couple of minutes, but I do wanna talk about something serious. So I'll leave the timestamp. But um, I honestly didn't wanna to film today. And the reason being is that I, I see what's going on in Texas right now. And uh, it's so it's so heartbreaking. It, it really is heartbreaking because I have a beautiful friend, Autumn, who lives there. My aunt lives there. And I just, I'm seeing the devastation that this snowstorm has caused. People who live in Texas, I know the majority of the state has gone without power. A lot of my subscribers are from Texas and they're reaching out to me because they have no power, no water. They're freezing, their pets are suffering. And it's just, it's so devastating that I'm like, how can I sit here and film when I know what's going on over there? Not to mention, I have seen tons and tons of video on TikTok where people are showing the devastation of um, them not having power and water for 24 to 48 hours. It's freezing there. The water pipes are bursting, destroying people's apartments and people's homes and people are taking all of our livestock and animals and bringing it inside and trying to keep them as warm as possible. But the saddest thing about the whole situation is the amount of negativity and comments that I see on people's TikToks and videos and posts talking about the devastation in Texas and people are from the North, not all people, but there are some keyboard courage people who are saying, oh my God, it's just, it's just snow. It's just cold weather. Like get over it. Like I think they're being very insensitive to the situation that Texas hasn't had snow, I believe, since 1973. Um, they're not built for snow. Just like Florida, we're not built for snow at all. Like if we had a snowstorm here, I don't know how these apartments will hold up, how the homes would hold up. Like we're not accustomed to the very, very cold weather. It's the exact same situation when people from the north would come down during the dead heat of summer in like July and August. And I would see it all the time in my restaurant, people getting heat strokes, people getting sick because of the sun. And I was, I didn't, no one made fun of them. People understood like, well, you're not from here. You're not used to the heat. So it's like the same situation. And it just makes me feel like, oh, I get so mad at humanity going, where's, where's the compassion? Like, where's the compassion to understand that Texas right now is having a devastating loss. They're losing animals. Their people are having casualties. I mean, God, I think last week was like that hundred car pileup on like an, like an interstate because of the black ice. Like, I think people are just forgetting that they're humans. They have no water, no power. It's freezing cold and it's devastating. And I just wish that people were just kind and it just bothers me. It just really makes me go, what's wrong with this world? Like, I, I mean, like, why can't we like all live in a world where we all just like help each other out? I don't, I don't know. It just, it really bothers me. And then to come sit here on camera and just act like it's not going on, like, I know people who are suffering right now. So like, it's just like, it makes me really sad and I wish that I could do something. I think it's really sweet that, I think it's North or South Dakota actually is doing rolling blackouts or rolling power losses. So they can actually send power down to Texas to help people get their power back on. So if there's anything I could do, my gosh, please let me know. I'd love to help you guys out. And uh, I just had to get that off my chest because I feel so bad. I just, it really bothers me. Just the negativity that's surrounding it and just... Please be compassionate is all I'm asking. And uh, I'm sure someone in the comment section, I get it on one or two videos whenever I talk about anything is, oh my God, just get to the view. No, this is my channel. I want to talk about it. And I just, I really do care. And I want you guys to know that I'm thinking of you and uh, whew, I hope it gets better. Okay, so with that said, um, I did purchase the uh, Valentine's Day uh, collection from ColourPop. This retailed for $70 for three eye kits right here. It came with three like I believe blushes and a highlight right here it came with a face stamp and I guess a mirror with that's included um they're still available I believe the kit itself is not available but on the website uh you guys can purchase these little five pan palettes for ten dollars first off <laughs> Colourpop is like a, a upping their prices I swear to god because I was informed of my animal crossing collection that the four pan four pan eyeshadow palette was like 10 to 12 dollars i'm like you gotta be fucking shitting me right now are you kidding me four shadows for that price you could just go get a nine pan palette from color 
I don't know what's going on with ColourPop, but they're jacking up their prices lately. So here we have a five pan palette for $10, though they're typically nine pan palettes are 12 to 14, just saying, but we have 143, we have Melt For You, and we have Smack, Smock, Smack, Ooh, I don't know how to say this one. We have this one right here, which I will swatch these for you guys. It did come with a stamp, like a face stamp for $8. There's a pink truffle, truffle, there's a pink truffle soul shimmering dry oil mini for $10, though I don't see it in my bag and I bought the full collection, so maybe they didn't include it. Um, and then we have the highlighter sets right here that are uh, $10 a piece. Now I'm kind of wondering, did I just get chipped on my collection? <laughs> no, I got it. Okay, for 70 bucks. I'm about to say, oh my God, they freaking like chipped me on it. So I originally wasn't going to get this collection, but then I decided literally last minute to get it. It rolled out exactly two weeks ago and I was like, ah, I'll get it. Super cute. It definitely came after Valentine's Day, which is to be expected from ColourPop. I'm not even shocked in the slightest. So I'm going to go ahead and start swatching these and go over these with you guys. And we're going to dive straight into review. I'm sorry if it was like off putting in the beginning, but it just, it really is bothering me because I just keep thinking about everybody in Texas right now and seeing all those videos on TikTok. It's just, oh, it's just, it's breaking my heart, man. It's, it's truly breaking my heart. So first we have the ColourPop mirror, but, um, my mirror is scratched to shit. What? Can you guys see that? Do you guys see that? I just pulled out of its box. How is it scratched to crap? Like, and I'm checking to see if there's a film on it. There's no film on it. What the hell, ColourPop? This actually makes me mad. Like, what the heck? This makes me mad. Thanks a lot, ColourPop. Wow. Here we have a little cute mark. This is a little stamp. So you could just like put it on your face. So we'll just do like cute. Although, is this supposed to leave? Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's cute. I mean, I don't think I'd ever utilize this, but I guess it's cool if you if you want to. Then we have these little like highlight uh, blush stuff. Then we have these little highlight stuff. First off, the packaging on this is so cute. I can't deny this. This is super, super cute. So here we have this little heart. This is called Lube Me Not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on, that took me by surprise. Lube, lub? Is it lub? Oh my God, is it lub? Oh my God. Wow, Allie, you gotta get your mind out of the damn gutter. I swear to God. Okay, so here we have the blush right here. This is pretty deep. Um, let me swatch this for you guys. Ooh, like an Annabelle, like an Annabelle doll sort of blush. Like that is creepy. I could put that on my cheeks in big circles and I'd be like, Annabelle, you're a creepy blush. All right, next we have this My Type. Ooh, that's cute. The packaging though is really cute. That's like the 90s style blush. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, I think I just wasted my money. Okay, last but not least, we have Kiss and Tell. This is, a, this is another cute little component right here. And here we have this one. This one actually looks pretty decent. This might be the one we have to use today, though it kind of like blends into the skin right there. So here are all three right here, super cute. And then we're gonna have the three eyeshadow palettes right here. So first things first, I'm gonna swatch this red one called Squawk, Squawk, Squawk. Okay, so here we have the eyeshadow palette right here. The first shade is called RFSOS. Then we have like this beautiful, like dark pinky, almost brownish, um, glitter matte called Smooch, XX, Cam Noodle, and then Mac right here. Oh, I think I wasted my money. <laughs> then we have Melt For You eyeshadow palette right here. These are cute, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're definitely getting inspiration from the Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow palette, like the little minis. I think that's where they're like their huge inspiration is coming from. It's actually funny because for a long time I didn't ever realize I called it Natasha Denoni. And you guys would always correct me in the comment section. Like, it's Denona. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Denona. And you guys like, no, you're saying Denoni, sweetie. Alrighty. So for this palette, we have Bonbon. Bon, Bonbon? Bon, 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 bon? What stupid ass name? Okay, then we have Sweetie Dipped. This beautiful dark pink called Ganache. Love it with the matte. Then we have Dutch. Dutch. Right here. 
Last but not least, we do have 143. Now this palette really caught my attention. It's pink. I don't know what's going on lately, but lately I've been into the pinks, but it does have a pressed glitter in it. You guys know how I feel about pressed glitter. So I'm excited because we're gonna be definitely playing around with this palette for sure today. We'd like definitely have to. Ooh, this one's my favorite so far. So we have, oh, cutie, my boo, which is gonna be a pressed glitter. We have L M L O M L. L O M L. What does that mean? L O M L. Long. <laughs> then we have love right here. Beautiful, beautiful color. I wish this palette did not have a pressed glitter in it and uh, whatnot, but I think for $70, this is highly overpriced for what it is, but we're going to still uh, go around and play with it. I'm going to zoom you guys in. We're going to do a look and yeah, guys. Oh, this will be fun. All right. So first things first, we're going to go into L O M L right here. And we're gonna do a halo eye look today. I don't know what it is. I've been obsessed with halo eyes and we're gonna use, um, I can't use that mirror. <laughs> That's so sad. That's so sad that it's just like scratched to crap. But like, I don't understand like who had fun with that beforehand, but damn, they really did have some fun. Um, wow, this is really, really beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what it is lately. I've been so into pinks. Even though this came after Valentine's Day, that is okay. We will still make her work for sure. You know, one day ColourPop will notice me. One day they will. I have been reviewing their stuff since the start of my channel. Um, God, there's still a video that haunts me to this day and please don't go back and look for it. <laughs> I know who you are. I've seen the comments, but it is when I did like a color pop, um, mystery bag because they had a mystery bag and I got it so quick from when I ordered it and I got the video up and that was like, I got, I don't know, I gained like 20 subscribers off that video and I was like, oh my God, I was so freaking excited but I hate that video because I look back on it and oh my gosh, it's so weird to be able to look back on my old content and just cringe at the cringe worthiness that I was, particularly my first video. I was so nervous filming first, like so freaking nervous. And I come on camera and I'm like, hi, I'm Allie Dawson. Oh God, it's so atrocious. But I do leave it up because I want to be able to see how far I've come. And I also leave it up there for you guys because I have some people always ask me, like, I'm so nervous to start a YouTube channel. Like, what do I do? I, I don't have, like, I'm, I'm so scared to be on camera and talk to myself. I'm like, hey, go look at my old content. Like, go look at my really old videos and see, like, where I was and how I was in the beginning. Like, we all, we all have to start somewhere. Every single person you see on the internet their first videos, I'm sure, are really cringy. And most people don't even have their first videos even available for you guys to see anymore. Most people take their first videos down because it's so cringeworthy for them. They're like, oh gosh. So don't don't sit here and think that you can't do it. Like, don't sit here and think you need all this stuff. And I've, I've preached about this a lot because I really do want you guys to follow your dreams, especially since we really do only have one life. So for sure, if this is what you wanna do, go for it. And who cares if your first video is like, not the best, mine sure as heck wasn't. No way. God, I even came on camera because I tried magnetic lashes and I came on camera and my magnetic, my magnetic lashes were just like hanging off my eye and I'm just like sitting here talking the whole time like, don't mind this. Oh gosh, horrible. So pretty. Okay, then I'm gonna take the shade QT right here and we're gonna blend that out even more. Um, so if you guys haven't seen, I did a poll recently on my uh, community page that I wanna go live next week to like hang out with you guys. So I think the winner so far is next Saturday the 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I think that's where I'm gonna end up going live at. I'm not gonna lie, I am really nervous about it. And you think I wouldn't be because I go live for my Patreon members like two, three times a month. And um, <laughs> I still get so nervous. It's so insane how nervous I get. I think I was most nervous when I did a Zoom meeting with like my um, Patreon members. Like we've all went on Zoom and I was so freaking nervous cause like, I don't know, it's nerve wracking. But then I felt good cause like I got to sit back and like watch everybody interact with everybody and it's so beautiful on there. And um, so don't be alarmed if next week when I go live, I'm really nervous at first cause it's just really nerve wracking. 
It really is. And, and if you guys want to like see me live more, um, if you guys go follow Corey, my beautiful husband, uh, he, him and I are streaming this game called at dead of night. And we were streaming it on Monday and we're going to be streaming it later on this week, maybe, or definitely the following Monday. Monday. It is a jump scare game. And I'm so glad that you guys came out and I got to watch that. And it's just a great way to like chill out, hang out with us. And just, if you guys like watching horror games or just me and Corey together live, like definitely come check out his Twitch. So since he's a Twitch uh, affiliate, he can't stream to YouTube. So I can't unfortunately stream it to YouTube because it just clashes with like, I guess, whatever contract that Twitch has with its creators. So we do have to go live on his Twitch, but maybe one day I'll be able to stream a game onto YouTube so you guys can see me play games. I know so many of you guys want me to play The Sims for you guys. Um, <laughs> Guys, I can't play The Sims live for you. I'll get in trouble. I'll get in so much trouble because I have that mod that's the Wicked Whims. And let me tell you, it's wicked. <laughs> okay, so for the next shade, now that we laid that down, um, I, think, I think I might take Ganache right here and maybe put that to deepen out the inner and outer corner. I don't know. Oh, there's so much kick up on that one. Oh no. Oh crap, that's gonna get everywhere. Okay, now I wanna take the shade. Oh, ew, I don't know why I said it like that. Then we're gonna put it right here. Okay, so then I'm actually surprised enough gonna take my boo right here. We're gonna put that just in the center to give a little extra, mm, just very, 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 very lightly tap that in. I don't really know how I feel about this eye look. Honestly, um, I will say this. If there's ever a moment that you're doubting yourself when it comes to your eye look, or you feel like your eye look just isn't pretty, isn't blended, isn't anything, there's a trick that I've learned to make it always look really pretty no matter what. You just sit further away and you put on lashes. I swear lashes save the day for everything. I've said it for so long on my channel. If you're ever unsure, put on lashes and it just makes it harder to see if there's mistakes on your eyes, if it's not blended properly. Like lashes are just like, they're gonna be your best friend. <laughs> so let me go ahead and finish off the majority of my face. We'll come back and do the blush and everything together. And I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this collection. So I'll be back. All right, so I am wearing my D-Star lashes in the style page, although this one is like starting to break off completely it's wanting to end its life i've had it for too long now but that is completely okay the time it's for it to go um i am wearing my actual morphe foundation if you guys haven't seen it i did do a morphe review on monday where i tried out the new Mor morphe soft filter effect foundation it's great for a couple hours if you're oily it's great for a couple hours after that no 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 no. but um we're gonna go ahead and finish off this look today so i'm gonna take this blush right here this is called my type and we're gonna very i mean like very 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 lightly tap it on to the cheek so when i say lightly i mean very lightly we're just gonna tap it on oh oh my god oh no not what I meant. That's too pinky. No, let me just really buff that in. Oh my god, I look like a porcelain doll. Oh crap. crap. Right, to finish off my lower eyes, I'm gonna go into the shade Dutch right here, and we're just going to do my lower lashes, and then we're actually gonna do something really cool. We're gonna take that stamp and put it in the inner corner, and then I'll do my highlight, and I will finish off my lips, and we will definitely be completing this look today. I will say ColourPop does make really beautiful eyeshadow. Like it just blends like a dream. It's so freaking nice. So let me go ahead and finish off my eyes, the rest of the face guys, and we will be right on back. All right guys, and this is the final look. So let me tell you guys what I did. So I, like I said earlier, I am wearing the D-Star Lashes in the style page. I did, go, I did go in my ColourPop white cream de la gel liner for underneath the eyes. You guys already saw that I did finish it off with the shade Dutch. Now I actually tried to utilize this in the inner corner and it just looked like pure crap. It did not work. So <laughs> instead I actually took my Jaclyn light show right here. I put this into the inner corner and brow bone. And I'm also wearing my Jaclyn uh, Committed Liquid Lip. Now I wanted to spice it up just a little bit. I didn't put a gloss on. So I actually took this on my finger 
and I just so lightly just dabbed it right here and gave my lips a beautiful glittery sparkle which I think actually looks really really nice surprisingly enough like it really does look really nice having that little bit of a glitter effect to it so for highlighter I am wearing my Jaclyn flash palette and then um yeah that pretty much I think completes the entire look so what are my thoughts on uh this collection so first off I'm not really the biggest fan of how the eye look turned out uh I don't know for some reason I'm just not like Oh my God, it's dropped a gorgeous. I, I do think it's really pretty. I don't know, I just feel like it's missing something. I don't know what it is that it's missing or lacking, but it's just definitely not my favorite eye look. I do think it's pretty, but it's just not my personal favorite. Um, the blush itself, I did go in with, oh my God, I did go in with my type blush and I did have to buff it out tremendously to get it to be not so pink because it was like, <laughs> like you know, 90s, like bright pink blush. And I did have to blush it, brush it out to make it look really pretty. So let me go over this collection and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. First things first, I do think that these little miniature eyeshadow palettes, I do think they're really pretty. Like this one's my personal favorite. This is the 143 Press Glitter. I think this is, this is the 143 Press Powder Palette. I think this one's my personal favorite. I definitely have some really beautiful pink colors. I could probably without, I could probably do without the Press Glitter. I really wish they would have made this into like a shimmer color. It'd been absolutely gorgeous. Got rid of Press Glitter, but this part my favorite. I also really do enjoy the, um, melt for you palette right here again super pretty i really like the colors in here there's a lot of fallout and kick up in this one right here so you have to be mindful of that i didn't play around with the squawk whatever one this is i didn't play around with it at all but i do think it's pretty and i'll definitely get a use out of this i will say that these are these are kind of pricey for what they are they really are and i really do like the fact they are rolling out with these but they're 10 they're ten dollars for five shadows it's a little pricey for color pop Personally, I do think they're definitely trying to get inspiration from the Natasha Denona mini palettes right here. They're a cute idea. They're easy to travel with, but um, I don't know. They're just, uh, they're all starting to repeat themselves just a little bit when it comes to their colors. So there is that. Um, here we have the little pressed powder blushes. I do think these are really, really, really cute components. <laughs> I really do think these are really, really cute components, but if you guys can't already tell, these probably will get super dirty so quickly. I don't know if you guys can see that well or not, but these will get dirty so quickly because mine are already starting to get dirty just from handling it and whatnot. These are already getting pretty dirty right here. So they're definitely really cute. I really do like the packaging of it. Um, may not be my exact color, but I do like the packaging of it. Then we have this little stamp right here waste of money personally I didn't get a use out of it I tried it did not work and uh yeah there is that then we have the little mirror right here it's a cute little mirror I do really like the mirror um it sucks that this was like a little like scratched up uh I tried to see there's a film I could not find a film on this whatsoever and I've tried to like dig into these corners to see if there's a stop Oh my God, what the heck? I literally sat here for 10 minutes when I was off camera, just scratching all the edges to see if there was a film. I could not find film whatsoever. Bitch, what the heck? What the heck? Well, you know, um, I take back what I said earlier. This is not a scratched up mirror, but I literally tried really hard. I was scratching all the edges to see if there was a film. Could not see one at all. I was literally digging in there. And now that the camera's rolling, now suddenly a film appears. Uh, so I take back what I said. Obviously this is not a scratched up mirror. So that's good to know. Good, 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 good to know. Uh, definitely really cute though. I do think this is a really cute mirror. I think the mirror is like what, $10, but um, definitely super cute. So. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. Why did you embarrass me like this mirror? Oh, usually whenever you get like mirrors, you can see like a little tab and everything. And I scratched the crap out of these corners. Oh my God, so embarrassing. I could edit that whole part out, but that wouldn't be me. So uh, what are my thoughts on this collection? Guys, uh, I definitely don't think it's worth the price point. I spent $74.95 after shipping and handling and I, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. I, it took two weeks to get here. Granted, I'm understanding of the reason being, but putting the weather aside, ColourPop just takes forever to process your order and ship out your order. Like they literally do take a long time. Um, but I don't know. I feel like for what I paid for, I didn't get a lot. There are some collections that I spent like $70 on and I got so much more. So I don't know. This one just isn't, I really was going to be in love with it. This one just isn't as exciting. I definitely think I overpaid for, I overpaid for what I got. And, um, 
I love ColourPop with all my heart, I really do, but I think I might slow down on purchasing ColourPop's collections because they do release them so quickly every single week and it needs to be something that I really want. Now I say this every time, but then I end up buying the collection because it's ColourPop. I love it, I know I'm gonna love it and I'm not mad at the formula, I think the formula is great, but I definitely do think they need to slow down their production just a little bit, maybe provide more inventory because I know things sell out so quick whenever they do have launches and people always miss out. I think they need to kind of focus more on providing more inventory for their customers, releasing just a little bit less. I think that make them more appealing of a brand. I know a lot of people are getting really tired of ColourPop. I see it all over the internet and I just want them to be a little bit more conscientious of their consumers and really listen to what their consumers are asking for. They're asking just for more inventory and slow down launches. Are they gonna listen to that? Probably not. I've even seen big influencers like Manny and Miwe talk about ColourPop needing to slow down just a little bit. So maybe one day they'll listen, but uh, obviously today's not that day. I do love them. Don't think I don't, but uh, it is it is a little overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, this collection is super cute. It really is just, I don't know. I think it's, I think I would have been okay if I passed on this. I really do think I would have been okay if I passed on this collection, so. There's that. Uh, this is actually still available for purchase. I'll leave the link down below for you guys to check out yourself. But um, yeah, I don't think you're missing anything if you didn't get your hands on it, my personal opinion. So uh, thank you guys so much for listening to me earlier. It, it really is breaking my heart what's going on in Texas right now, especially because of the fact there's no power and no water. I think that's what's like, like killing me the most because I just, I couldn't imagine going this long without power and or water and having your animals suffer, you suffer, and it just, it's devastating there. So I really hope that, you know, things can be done, power can be sent their way, people can send over help. And if there's anything I could do, please let me know in the comments below. Like I'm, I run, I want to help out in every way, shape or form that I can. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post three to four, mostly five times a week. Please make sure you guys check out my other channel. It's all for the life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to all these beautiful Patreon members right here. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to try to do this full time. You guys are trying to let me live my dream and I really, really, really appreciate it. And to my viewers, thank you guys so much for clicking this video whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you subscribed didn't subscribe unsubscribed either way thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate you with my entire heart i value each and every single one of you guys so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye uh considering the so putting the snowstorm put okay so then we have this shot palette <laughs> this little blush right here just from handling it. I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below if you just wanna drum. Uh, this is actually still available for purchase. I'll leave it, I'll leave them up. I did go in with a ColourPop water gel. I, I almost said I'll see you guys in the very next collection, probably.